We just witnessed what were undoubtedly the two greatest episodes of Friend or Foe so far. Not only were these episodes incredibly entertaining to watch, but they also gave us a lot of insight on the Sur Assassin, on SB737, on Clown, and on the series in general. But today, I will not be only recapping these incredible episodes, but I'll also be pointing out a few things you might have missed, and even a little more depth into who I think the Server Assassin is. Without any further ado, let's start by recapping what exactly happened. Clown's video starts off with him searching for an ancient city so he can have portable XP to repair his mending armor in dire circumstances. About a minute in, however, the server assassin joins the game. Clown immediately starts heading as far away as possible to avoid the assassin and eventually finds it deep dark. But somehow, in such a short period of time, the server assassin caught up with Clown. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the assassin last logged off near spawn and in SB's episode, it took him a long time to reach Clown. Kinda suspicious if you ask me, but let's not get off track. The server assassin jumps down to Clown Pierce, and one of the most remarkable fights I have ever seen in Minecraft commence. This fight felt like something right out of a movie. The two most deadly players duking it out, with the most powerful and terrifying mob coming out of the ground and making it even more crazy. And as if that wasn't enough, SB737 recognized that this was his best chance to kill Clown and join the action from afar. This fight was long, but I enjoyed every minute of it. At around 19 minutes in the Clown's video, the fighting comes to a small break in which Clown takes the opportunity to repair his armor. And this is where Clown made arguably his biggest mistake of the episode. Clown had an easy escape route and could have definitely escaped the assassin, but he decided to just re-gear and go back into the fight, which later led to his downfall. However, Clown does get the upper hand for a short period of time since the wardens were targeting the server assassin. Now, this is where I'd like to point out something else I found that was extremely suspicious. Server Assassin tanks two Sonic Booms from the Warden, which can deal anywhere between two to three hearts of damage, which means the Assassin probably took around five hearts of damage with just the Sonic Booms alone. On top of that, Clown critted him twice, which probably dealt another heart, and finally, the Warden meleeed him twice, which probably dealt around another two hearts. If you do the math, that's around nine hearts. So unless the Sur Assassin ate an enchanted golden apple, there's absolutely no way he would have survived that. But shortly after the sequence, Clown realizes he has no chance of killing the Assassin and tries to run away. Now, this is where I saw something very odd. If you slow down the video at about 28 minutes and 14 seconds, you will see something very weird. Server Assassin appears literally out of nowhere. If you look at the subtitles, you can't find the subtitle Pearl Lands, hinting at the fact that Server Assassin was teleported to Clown via commands. But again, I don't really know for sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. A little bit later after this, with a little help from SB, the Server Assassin ends up killing Clown and stealing a shulker box of spare armor, and the episode ends shortly after. But now it's time to talk about SB737. Throughout the entire video, SB kept reminding us that he had a contingency plan in case things went south. I honestly have no idea what this contingency plan is of his, let me know what you guys think in the comments. But that's not what's important. What is important is the fact that he might have just put his deal of clown in jeopardy. Watch this clip. I will agree to this as long as it means that you won't interfere in uh when i'm fighting somebody else so if i'm fighting mini or quiff you can't attack me yeah i, th I think i think that's fair enough sb clearly third party clown when he was fighting the assassin and he even admitted it himself oh he's in trouble it's clown pierce now it's a third party moment it's a third party moment does this mean that the deal between sb and clown is over i don't know to be honest I'll let SB and Clown work that out themselves. Speaking of Clown, I think it's time we talk about him. Clown went from by far the best position on the server to one of the worst positions on the server. He has next to no gear and lost so many resources in the fight. Food shouldn't be a huge problem for him as Suspicious Stew is pretty easy to get, but now he's an easy target for SB737. Hopefully for Clown, Quiff will stay true to their alliance and help him out. I will say, it would be epic to see Clown and Quiff team up against Server Assassin, which is the next person we'll be talking about. Now, a lot was revealed to us about the Assassin in Clown's new episode. One thing we noticed is that Server Assassin plays a lot like a UHC main, which made a lot of people think that the identity of the Assassin is Foray, since he mains UHC. However, I stumbled upon this very interesting screenshot from the Friend or Foe Discord. A player by the name of Toxberry admits she's a Server Assassin, with Foray confirming. 
However, after some deeper digging, I did end up finding Toxberry's channel, and it turns out that she's not experienced in PvP, so I highly doubt it's her. However, I stumbled upon a user by the name of Mars, who happens to know a few Bliss SMP members, including Mugum, and is also an expert on PvP. He claims that Mugum fights exactly like Server Assassin, and that the Assassin pulled a few PvP tricks only Mugum knew. We even used the amount of knockback the Server Assassin took to pinpoint his location, which happens to be North America. Mars even asked Tyrad if Mugum was the assassin and got no response. And if all that wasn't enough for you, Mugum also commented on one of my community posts which was asking if he was the assassin. No one can really say for sure, but Mugum does seem like the guy we've been looking for. The one thing we know for sure is that Server Assassin is absolutely terrifying and practically unkillable. But that's pretty much my thoughts on everything. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and be sure to hit subscribe while you're down there, and I'll see you in the next one.